I gotta hide my glasses fast because Wrigley's gonna get them. And um, just sitting here writing on this uh, um, this series that uh, it's been my dream to do for a long time, an animated series about mental health. Does it look like I'm typing, Case? Sure. Okay. Uh, August the 25th, 2021. This is the Daily Lands blog. Uh, me and Riggs and Case and one of the things that I've been writing uh, is, uh, well, I've been writing about uh, Ludwig von Beethoven, uh, who, uh, as you may know, obviously, one of the most accomplished uh, composers in the history of the world, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you may know that in one of the most shocking stories that you could ever imagine, one of the great accomplishments, he wrote his ninth symphony near the end of his life when he was totally deaf. I mean, I, I just, it's like, well, you know, how could he do that? But what's fascinating about him is that he battled severe depression and alcohol addiction. He was a self-medicator, um, and it's certainly not a matter of finding an excuse for someone to do something, but back then there was nothing but absurd treatments for depression, and I think none of them did any good, so, you know, booze seemed like the best option at the time, and the only option to some extent to feel better. But he was so depressed at the end of his life, not about his uh, lack of hearing, but because he battled depression, that he considered taking his own life. And had he not died when he did, you know, perhaps he would have taken his own life. But what would have ultimately killed him was not his loss of hearing, but his loss of the ability to experience joy. And I'm, I don't want to put words into his mouth, but from what I've read, and from what I've heard, uh, Ludwig von Beethoven, uh, arguably the greatest composer and musician in history, um, was more, um, more distraught about his lack of joy than he was of his lack of hearing. That says something massive. Sitting on week.com, 24 hours a day, uh, 343 days a year. Why are we here, Case? Because Beethoven needs us to be. We're here for you, Ludwig.